Chris Sherlock. I work on sustainable sourcing here at Prince's in Liverpool. Prince's has been here in Liverpool since the 1880s. We work predominantly on canned food. Within that canned fish is massively important to us and probably the most important species is tuna. Prince's sources tuna from all the way around the world, but the Indian Ocean is the most important for us. We've got two large tuna processing sites on the island of Mauritius where we employ about 4,000 people. Sustainability in the Indian Ocean is therefore critical. We know full well that if we don't have sustainable stocks of tuna in the Indian Ocean, it will be difficult to operate those factories. So this is understood right up to board level in Princess that this is a business critical, business continuity issue. The reason I got into sustainability is I'm, I'm an environment nerd. I've been interested in the environment since I was five, six years old. I used to watch David Attenborough in the 1980s. I went to university to study environmental management in the early 90s and I've been working on food sustainability really since the mid-2000s. So it's, it's what I'm interested in and I'm lucky enough to have a job in it. Princes has recently announced that it's planning to get all of its branded tuna here in the UK from MSC certified sources by 2025. This is actually the culmination of more than a decade's work. So it starts with Greenpeace actually having a protest against Princes here at our head office in Liverpool. We then work with our supply chain, the boats that are supplying us particularly to our factories in Mauritius. We worked with our competitors, we entered into fishery improvement projects and over the course of the decade we've improved these and we now have a pipeline of MSC certified tuna. I think the role of Prince's in tuna sustainability is to really try to push for, for better standards incorporated in, in fisheries globally. So we've worked with our suppliers, the boat owners, we've worked with our competitors to establish fishery improvement projects. We regularly call on the regional fishery management organisations to establish harvest strategies, harvest control rules. We work with organisations such as the Global Tuna Alliance and the International Seafood Sustainability Foundation to try and set the rules and the framework that means fisheries are sustainably managed. The key way end consumers' voice comes through to us is through our customers that are, are the retailers. If you want to do business with a UK or, or European retailer on, on fish, you've got to get sustainability right. Looking forwards, we could see a massive opportunity for MSC certified tuna. Prince's works across Northern Europe, as well as our targets to take UK Prince's brand tuna to MSC by 2025. We already have almost 100% of our tuna MSC certified in the Netherlands and will be there by the end of this year. We're also seeing increased demand from our retail customers, so supermarkets around Northern Europe, that want MSC certified tuna as their standard. Despite the cost of living crisis, we see absolutely no let up in demand for fish sustainability. I think for Prince's, what we want to do is, is make sustainable affordable. And I think what I'd reflect on is, is tuna is actually a very well priced, good value source of protein that we want to source sustainably as well. There are two reasons why we see the MSC standard as our end goal for sustainable fish. The first one is the assessment of a fishery follows a, a robust, independent, clear scientific assessment. The second reason is because fish sustainability is a, a crucial issue for end consumers, but they want this to be something that, that translates simply, easily, effectively. MSC is increasingly seen as the mark that they want, the standard that they want, and makes sustainability easy. Prince's is the, the largest brand of its type to set a target for 100% MSC certified tuna in the, in the UK. We are out in front of our competitors in establishing this target. And what you don't necessarily see is the work that goes on behind that. So Prince's has been working on this for over a decade with its suppliers. I think this is something we also discussed on a commercial basis for over 18 months, maybe two years, before we actually made an announcement. So, so getting to this point where you get a big project like that over the line is, is, is something that I get a buzz out of. What's your favourite tuna dish? My favourite tuna dish? Um, I'd just say standard uh, tuna mayo sandwich. Can't beat it. Sorry to be boring. No cheese? No, no, definitely no cheese.